Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here, and for my first video back, I decided I should make a basic box turtle care video. Now, this is my eastern box turtle, Noelle, and um, I decided she's one of my new pets, it'd be great to make a video on her. Now, the eastern box turtle is also known as Terrapin Carolina Carolina, and is found in the eastern United States, inhabiting the moist forest floor. It likes to live in wet dirt and moist leaves. For caging, as you can see, I have her in a glass aquarium that is about 5 feet by 2 feet. Now, 5 feet by 2 feet is relatively small. The bigger, obviously, the better. Outdoors enclosures are always better than indoor enclosures. However, I live in Canada, and right now it's winter time, so an outdoor enclosure would not work. Um, for a substrate, you want to have a relatively moist substrate. What I like to use is cocoa fiber, which you can see here alongside some moss. Right now, Noelle, my box turtle, is sitting on the moss portion of the aquarium. As um, a box turtle, as the name implies turtle, they um, do like water. So, as you can see in the back of the aquarium, I have a water bowl. Now, this water bowl is fairly large, um, and it's also fairly deep. When Noelle goes into her water bowl, the water does not go over the top of her shell which is very important for box turtles, but rather it goes about two-thirds up. Box turtles are not very good swimmers, so it's important that you do not make the water bowl too deep, water bowl too deep so that they cannot drown. Another aspect of this cage are the hides. There's multiple hides throughout this cage, two in the back and one in the front. Box turtles, like other tortoise and turtle species, are not the top, top predators in their environment, so they do like to hide a lot. It's important that you provide them with multiple hiding opportunities. You can also see a live plant in here. It's a spider plant. Um, live plants help keep the humidity up, and they also provide other hiding opportunities. Throughout the terrarium, you can also see multiple cork, cork bark pieces and stones. This just helps break up the terrain and give the box turtle something to climb over. Now, for humidity, in the bottom left corner of the screen, you should be able to see a humidity gauge. This humidity gauge measures the relative humidity and relative temperature of the terrarium. It is important that your relative humidity is about 80%. As you can see right here, my relative humidity is at 83%, which is perfectly fine. Now, getting on to temperature, the relative temperature throughout the terrarium so should be around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. My temperature at 68.7 degrees Fahrenheit is a tiny little bit low, but this shouldn't matter too much. The basking spot, which you can now see in the video, should be around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This is about the highest it should go, 85 degrees Fahrenheit is also okay. You also need to provide a UVB light, which preferably would shine on the basking spot and the complete enclosure. If you can only do one, the basking spot is the best area, as t box turtles, like other turtle and tortoise species, like to bask. The UVB light should be a UVB light with either 5.0 or 10.0. This depends on if you have a screen in the way. If there's a screen in the way, you want a higher UVB output. If there's no screen in the way, like with this UVB light here, and um, this UVB light is also very close to the box turtle, so I opted for a 5.0 light. The last thing I want to talk about in today's video is the box turtle diet. Now, box turtles are omnivores, which means that they both eat both plant matter and animal matter. Now, what I like to feed my tortoise for the animal portion is um, snails. Now, it's winter time. I cannot go collect my own snails. These snails from Exoterra come deshelled and ready to go. All you need to do is pop them in the fridge after you open the package and add them to your tortoise turtle's diet. Now, the reason I like to feed snails is because snails represent what the box turtle would most likely eat in the wild. They're slow and getting away, and the box turtle really likes snails. I also like to feed Fluker's Medley Treat Mix. The reason I like to feed this, the only reason I feed her this, is because there's some river shrimp in there. River shrimp are going to mix up the diet a little bit compared to your regular crickets and mealworms, and um, they're included in this, which is why I like to add this sometimes. Now, of course, I also feed her live crickets, live superworms, and live mealworms, 
just to give her some stimulation, give her something to chase around. But these are just two special things I like to give her. You can also give your box turtle horned worms, silk worms, <clears throat> wax worms, soldier fly larva, anything, any available <laughs> insect in the pet trade is fine. Just make sure they're not too high in fat and that they're always dusted with calcium powder. Calcium powder is very crucial for proper shell growth as with any other turtle and tortoise species. So I like to give this to her every time I feed her um, insects. Now for the vegetable portion, I like to feed my turtle carrots, sweet potatoes, squash, zucchini, kale, and um, dandelion. Now I obviously don't feed all of this at once, otherwise I'd have a lot of vegetables in the fridge and my turtle wouldn't be able to get through all of them. What I do is I pick two or three of those vegetables, I grate them up very smallly, and um, for one week that's all she gets, those two or three vegetables. The next week she gets a different mixture of vegetables, that way I make sure I always switch it up. Now for the amount you should be feeding, um, I like to alternate between meat and vegetables, and I like to feed her every second day. My box turtle is now four and a half years old, so she's getting to the point where she doesn't need food every day anymore. She also is getting to the point where she doesn't need more meat than vegetable matter. Box turtles do prefer meat. It tastes better to them, especially young box turtles. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you want to see future care videos on my box turtle, Russian tortoise, ball python, East African spiny tailed lizards, or just videos on reptiles in general, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or send me a private message. Thank you for watching.